I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel at the end. Today we have got another important video on povidone, iodine and we will address 10 important questions that what is it? What are the available concentrations and trade names? What are the ophthalmic indications of diluted iodine? Which one is more potent concentrated or diluted solution? How to prepare diluted solution? What's the difference between scrub and solution and how to apply scrub? What's the ideal way of 5% povidone iodine installation into the eye to decrease chances of endophthalmitis? Which one is more potent form, dry or wet form of iodine? And what's it used in OT instrument sterilization? So let's start with the question number one that what is it? Well, povidone iodine is the most important antiseptic in surgical field. What is antiseptic? Antiseptic is antimicrobial substance that is applied to the skin or any other living tissue to reduce the chances of infection. Now, what are the available concentrations? Uh, it is available mostly in 10%. 7.5% solutions uh, and less commonly 5% solution. The trade names, the famous trade names are Pyodine and Betadine. And now the third question, as we have already discussed in previous video, diluted Povidone iodine is used to treat ophthalmia, neonatorum, neonatal conjunctivitis, viral conjunctivitis, bacterial, viral and fungal keratitis. It reduces microbial load by releasing iodide radical. The more diluted the iodine solution, the more free iodine particles are available and the more effective germicide it becomes. I have already discussed how it is prepared again to make it very easy. Inject 1 ml 10% betadine pyodine solution in 10 ml artificial drops and it will make it 1%. Lubricant will also help to increase the contact time of betadine with ocular surface. In 1% or less, it is less epitheliotoxic to the cornea. Now pyodine comes either in solution form or scrub form. You should know the difference. Scrub contains soap and has cleansing effect. Scrub is used by the OT personnel to disinfect hands and arms. First wet hands with water and pour few mls of scrub on hands rub vigorously for 15 to 20 seconds covering all surfaces then rinse it thoroughly do it two or three times and then dry with a disposable towel solution is used for skin disinfection before and after surgery as well as the five percent solution can be instilled into eye as prophylaxis because it is the only proven drug to decrease the chances of post-op and of thalmitis now doctors argue that we use Pyodine solution routinely before starting the surgery and still get end of thalmitis. Why? Well, you are right that you use it, but just check your method that whether you use it in a proper way. What common mistake we all surgeons do is that after applying the speculum, we put a drop of Pyodine and then instantly within 5 to 10 seconds wash it with saline. Now, that's not the proper way. You need to give it some time to get effect. First, put topical anesthetic drop like alkane to neutralize its stinging effect. Then, put two to three drops of 5% povidone iodine into the eye and ask the patient to close eyes so that it should be properly spread it by tear film. Now, after 10 to 15 seconds, you can apply speculum and still don't wash it and leave it to dry for another one minute. Betadine, Pyodine or Povidone Iodine is most effective germicidal when it dries up rather than in wet form. Now that's very important point the dry Pyodine is the most effective form of Pyodine. Now rinse the eye and furnace as well with normal saline and you are ready to start your surgery. If you 
apply this technique then you will almost nullify the chances of post-op and of thalmitis. Same is the case with pyodine scrub. When surgeon is scrubbing, let it dry or at least leave it on your hands for 2 minutes to have its maximum effect. This way you will minimize the chances of endophthalmitis. Now one of my colleague asked me a very good question regarding instruments sterilization to avoid endophthalmitis. Uh, he asked me what you do with the used set of cataract surgery when you finish surgery, surgery and I was unable to answer him. Then I asked my OT and instrument sterilization team because we have got very less rate of endophthalmitis in the last few years. So sterilization team told me that after the use we clean all the instruments like corneal forceps etc with 2% diluted pyodine solution and then all instruments again with normal saline before autoclaving or hot air oven technique now that was new information for me too i am thankful to my friend dr tanvir abbas who asked me a very important and valid question and now i have addressed it and hopefully all the viewers watching my videos they can also give their feedback in comments about their technique of sterilization so we have addressed almost all questions all 10 important questions about povidone iodine we will have another session regarding uh, povidone iodine about its intracameral and intravitreal use thank you very much